Very soon, we'll be starting the process of rolling out the Byron reboot. Now, this is a hugely important milestone for Cardano, and in many ways, the most important update that we've seen to date. Some 18 months of work by the IOHK developer team has gone into this, rewriting the Byron era node from the ground up. This is entirely fresh code, developed following our evidence-based software methodology, in line with the formal, mathematically provable specifications which have laid out the vision for Cardano from the very beginning. And it also brings in the new modular approach that will make future Cardano development more agile and extensible than ever before. The Byron reboot is also significant because it contains the foundational code on which the Shelley era of the mainnet will be deployed. In fact, we've already deployed new Shelley era relays onto the mainnet, and these have been running well now for a couple of weeks. So the reboot is the beginning of the transition of the entire mainnet Cardano codebase and the features that Shelley will in time bring, like staking, delegation, and of course, decentralization. There are a number of components to the Byron reboot. First off, there's the node itself. We've built new consensus mechanisms based on leading edge research, setting new standards in networking support alongside a formally specified and tested ledger. We believe this brings the highest levels of assurance delivered to date in any blockchain project. Then there are the updates to the Daedalus wallet. As well as providing all the functionality available on the current mainnet, there'll be a bunch of improvements added with the reboot. Uroi wallet support, transaction filtering, wallet restoration with parallel restoration and more. And while we're talking about wallet restoration, let's also talk about speed. So Daedalus is a full node wallet, which means that unlike Yoroi, for example, which is an excellent browser-based extension, Daedalus downloads and independently validates every transaction in the history of the blockchain every time you load it. That way, you get maximum security and completely trustless operation without centrally hosted third-party servers. But historically, this has meant that sync times can be pretty long, can be frustrating, especially if you haven't opened your wallet in a while. The reboot should deliver some pretty substantial improvements here. We're still doing some benchmarking on this and we'll share the data as soon as we have it. It varies by platform and we're still doing some optimizations. But you should see a step change in wallet restoration times. Instead of the hours you were maybe used to in the past, we're talking minutes. And that's for the whole Cardano blockchain. Alongside this, we'll also be rolling out a new version of Daedalus for you to test and give us your feedback on. This will sit alongside the existing mainnet Daedalus wallet. So just like the ITN has been a pathfinder for future Shelly mainnet functionality, this version of Daedalus will help us test and evaluate some of the more advanced functionality for the Shelly era, while still maintaining the standards of security and usability that you've come to expect of a mainnet wallet. The wallet will also be supported by a very nice new Explorer implementation, which will continue to evolve over time, adding fresh, valuable information and functionality about the blockchain for the Shelley era. We'll also be incorporating the lessons learned from the incentivized testnet, laying the basis for new user-level delegation features that again will be rolled out in the Shelley era. The reboot also contains Adrestia. Now this is the new name for a collection of services centered around the Haskell wallet backend. Now Adrestia really comes into its own in the Shelley era, so we'll be talking a lot more about it in the future, but in short, Adrestia is a set of APIs in orthogonal or independent self-contained libraries. Now together, these improvements will allow exchanges and third-party wallets to connect to the Cardano network more easily and with greater reliability. So in time, we'll see a host of new connectivity options for exchanges and developers. We believe this will be an exciting new driver for Cardano adoption. Meanwhile, we're focused on getting things ready for the reboot, and we're looking to deploy within the next week or so. The Byron reboot will serve as the basis for the future growth of Cardano. Once it's been successfully deployed, we'll be ready to start rolling out the Haskell Shelley testnet and bringing stake pool operators on board from the ITN. And of course, there'll also be the migration of your ADA rewards as we move onto Shelley on the mainnet. So there's gonna be a lot to communicate. So make sure you're following us in IOHK social channels for the latest. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and set those alerts. And make sure you tune in to our new monthly product update with Cardano product director Aparna Ju and her team. Join us for that on the 31st of this month, so that's the 31st of March, 
to hear all the latest on the Byron reboot and of course lots more. You can find details for that also in the links below. Meanwhile, thanks for watching and as ever for being part of the Cardona community. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.